bait in the hands of the wrong person is useful. Subpar bait in the hands of the right person to be gold. You can't go in the store, go buy a Spalding basketball and expect to have Steph Curry handles or a jumper. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. Every time I buy those new Steph Curry's from Under Armour, I'm expecting to make every three. <laughs> Oliver and I here. I never thought I would ever get to explore all these amazing parts of the country through fishing. I grew up from such humble beginnings. I learned early on it wasn't my lack of resources that determined how a day of fishing went. It really came down to my resourcefulness and my wits. We're driven by what swims in, in these lakes and hopefully it's the biggest one that we can find. I'm fishing the American dream. Well, we just made the drive up from Florida. We are now in the Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. This is a very special part of the country. They've got herring, they've got trout, and they've got big bass. And this is a place that I've wanted to personally explore and fish for many, many years. We're gonna squeeze in a couple days fishing with Austin Neary of Dreamcatchers Fishing. So I'm excited. Big Bass Dreams, Dreamcatcher Guides. Bro. It just sounds like it's going to be mayhem. It's a unique place, you know, like we have lakes that are stocked with trout. We have tons of herring, big bass. This lake specifically, Walter, they has the North Carolina state record smally. Oh, word. Yeah, 10-8. Damn. Yeah, so we live in that kind of area where things could get freaky, but this lake specifically, prehistoric monsters in it. Hell yeah, this so, is special, man. I'm, yeah, I'm man. pumped. So what open are you most excited for? Man, all of them. There's got to be one that you're like, it's just setting up for me. I man, just... like seriously, like all of them. Like I, I, yeah, I spent a lot of time on a lot of different bodies of water. I've, I've fished Oneida, I've fished St. Lawrence. I've made a career out of uh, showing fish something they haven't seen before, whether it's something completely new or something old. Yeah. It's a thing. So what's your favorite glide bait? Um, I, mean, I know you're a mega bass guy. I mean, shoot, I have 100 grand on ice slide. That's right? pretty big. Now the big ice slide's a sink, it sinks. It's, it's a slow sink. But here's the thing, if you swap out the hooks for like an SP36, it floats. Oh, really? I, mean, I caught a lot of fish on that 250 without ever modding it. Yeah, of Just course. straight stock, man. Look at that image. That is insane. <laughs> that is, dude, that is whack. There's fish all around it, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 she fired. Oh, she can eat. Oh! oh. So who got you into the big bait game? Man, it was always around. The tackle shop that, you know, that was a mile from my house that I'd walk to every day had the OG Castaic hard trouts in the case. Wow. $49.99. I sat there and just gawked at that thing forever. And then when they came out with that hard head soft body, yeah. at $29.99, I was like, okay, mom, I really, really want this. <laughs> She's like, you're not gonna catch anything with that, it's huge. So, yeah, I mean, it's always been part of the culture down there uh, since I started fishing. That was a 92. Look at this one. I need to put the ice light on. I got more control with that thing. Okay, putting it together. It can happen fast, man. Oh man, it can. It so can. No, this, this is, is my jam right here. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. How did you not eat that? That was the biggest one of the day. You ain't shit. <laughs> Let's say we move up to that pocket where there's actually fish. I'm game. It probably helps to have bass in an area you're trying to Genuinely. Fish, right? Dude, this thing dances good. I'm, I'm blown away by it. I'm telling you, man, this thing's gonna get licked. You got him? Yep. He's flipping, bro. Hey, check this out, though. Bro, oh, let's fucking go, baby! <laughs> bro, let's go! Ah! Bro, you just got done saying, watch this thing get crunched. Look at that stud. Put that bad boy in the box. Dang chunk. Ooh, son. That was for rolling. Welcome to the dream machine, baby. Oh, there he is. Stick him. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. Not a big one. Little baby largemouth, <laughs> dude. Huh. That might be the smallest largemouth I've ever caught on, on a, a 250. Baby. For everyone out there that says, it's just a big fish bait. Apparently not. <laughs> Dude, that's a 10 inch lure and a 12 and a half inch bass. And I just see the school go by and they were all three pounders. How long ago? 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that 12 the biggest you guys have seen out of here? 
Ever? What? Can we see that? I want to see I it. I want to see this. He's got a picture of a 15 on his phone here. So you guys just caught a 12, and you're telling me you've caught a 15 out of this lake. That's amazing. Dang. Mega stud. Look at that hoss. That's a big one. There was wow. a storm coming in. I'm standing on the point right there in the water drinking a beer. <laughs> that says you should have been. And my buddy yells at me and said, I think you're hung up. And I pulled this thing in. It was like, fuck, are you kidding me? <laughs> it was a pleasure talking yeah, to you boys. Up, let me know. Will do. Different time of day. We got wind on it. Different direction of approach. Got him. Nice. Whee! Got him. Dude, not a giant. But a fatty. That's good. Oh. oh, by the way, that's exactly why if you ain't throwing a head hook, you need a head hook. He ain't a giant. He's probably just short of four. God, that's a healthy fish, though. Look how pretty that fish is, though. Dude, that's a beauty. God. And the fact that it ate a 10 inch bait yep. makes it that much cooler. Hey, we have friends. I just want one more fish over five, one in each hand. Oh my God. Is Are this good? Are you kidding me? Is this good? That's what got Woo ha! <sighs> We're gonna bring him over to you and get, get a professional opinion. Okay. They're all kind of cookie cutters. That one's nice. This is 438. I'll Very take nice. it. Sweet. I think that's your fish. That's a pretty one. That's that nice. Is the, that is mine. Yeah. got hooked in the head. That's the pretty one. He was uh, with the Falcons for the center and the Eagle. Yeah, that's just awesome. It's so nice with you guys. Yeah, thanks for the scale, we sis. Two of the sure. nicest guys I ever met. All right, boys. Appreciate y'all. That local culture is sick up here, man. You guys are good people. Better go get the ball either. Man, that's a seagull. All right, so you've always wanted to get to the mountains of Western North Carolina. This mystique with it, what'd you think? You never know what to expect when you come into new water yeah. and a new region and explore new cultures that surround bass fishing, like we mm -hmm. experience at the dock with the no you know, doubt. father and son duo there. Kinda the people you... are dope. Hospitality, man, Southern hospitality. It's a real thing. Is born here. That's what's up. With the big bass. It's amazing. I mean, dude, we're sitting here next to this creek and every every creek has got a waterfall on it. You know, we got TLC vibes. Yeah, and that's right. It, it's It's been a hell of a day, man. I've, I've had a blast. Uh, thanks thanks for letting me see this North Carolina mountain Our pleasure, bass man. fishing culture, man. Our pleasure. Appreciate you. Yeah, bro. Let's get these fish back in the water, huh? Let's do it. Oh, big baits, thick lines. Medium weights. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of this. I mean, this is mountain fish. That's cool, man. These are studs, though. These are beauties. Enjoy yourselves. Sick. Let's go, baby. Go. Go. I love North Carolina. <laughs>